What's up, Keel Holler fans? Tim Fitzgerald here with men's senior goalkeeper, David Henderson. Hendo, it's only fitting that the first interview of the 2018 school year is with the senior of the men's soccer team. As you guys are getting ready to start action on September 20th right here at Bodner Field against Soka University. Hendo, thanks for joining us here, talking with us. We're going to get to know you a little bit and get to know, you know why you came to Cal Maritime, that sort of stuff, all right? Uh, so let's start with that. Let's start with that, Hendo. Introduce yourself to folks watching out there. Tell us a little bit about yourself, where you're from, and when you first started playing soccer. So full name's David Henderson, if you don't know me. Uh, most of my friends and my teammates call me Hendo. Uh, that goes back to freshman year. Our coach was a big fan of Liverpool FC, and their captain, Jordan Henderson, that's his nickname, is Hendo. So that, I just rolled with that, and it stuck, and I like it. Uh, I grew up in mostly the Bay Area. I grew up in the Danville area, and I live in Walnut Creek. Uh, it's just about half hour away on the East Bay. Um, and I also lived in Scotland during the summertime when I was younger um, with my mother and my grandparents. Um, so that's really when I first learned to play was – you know, my grandfather kind of teach me how to kick a ball in the backyard when I was just three, four years old, and I really stuck with that then, and that's a big um, piece of my heart and really one of the reasons why I came here. You know, I, I've, you know, I've stuck with that, you know, my whole life, you know, starting three, four years old, and, you know, I've, you know, like one of the reasons why I love to come here was because I got a chance to play. You know, I started half the games my freshman year, and I've started, you know, the last three years since, and it's, you know, it's been a joy. And if I, if I went to a bigger university, I might have not had that chance. Um, but, you know, local kid, grew up playing with Nick Bear for a couple seasons, which was, you know, real fun. You'll probably see him um, upcoming in a couple interviews. But, yeah, it's my background. Gotcha. So you mentioned being a Bay Area native and the draw of a smaller school, bringing you to Cal Maritime for a chance to play. What were some of the other factors that brought you to Cal Maritime, maybe ac academically or or for purposes of your career after school? What what were the some of those interests that brought you to Cal Maritime, and what do you want to do after school? Of course, it sounds a little cliche, but just the, the small school atmosphere. Um, I mean, my high school was double the amount of kids we have here like right now it's about 1200 kids when I started it was only around 1100 um, so just you know I literally know half the school and having that you know that friend group to base around is really nice having to personally know your professors it's really a key thing that you know big schools won't have at all people won't even know who they are you know and I you know I really like that um, coming here obviously the job prospects are really good regardless of what major you're in. Um, so I'm hopefully either looking to maybe go to grad school, um, continue my education, or hop right into a field, p potentially the government or something like that. Um, that's always kind of interest me um, since I've you know grown the last three years being here. That's awesome. Tell us about your previous soccer stops before coming to Cal Maritime. Where are the places you've played before? So fun fact, I never actually played high school soccer. Um, I was cut twice because they didn't think I was good enough. And then I come here and I get to play and I got, you know, all conference last year, which is, I don't know, pretty good for me. You know, I've always had that chip on my shoulder. You know, I'm not a very big goalkeeper, you know, six foot two, my team, oh, he's a big kid. But, you know, I've had to grow with that. And, you know, I take it, obviously, I can't just grow overnight. So I had to develop as a person and as a goalie like that. Um, so I first started, obviously, when I was in Scotland, you know, with my grandfather around four or five years old, you know, just kicking the ball around. And then I played for my local uh, club team, Mustang Soccer in Danville, um, since I was five, you know, and I, I was one of the taller kids on the team and I wasn't very fast. So they put me in goal and I stuck with that for 14, 15 years and I've loved it. Um, so I did that for a while. Um, I was actually, uh, teammates with JT Marcinkowski, who's the U21 men's national team goalie. Um, so working with him for a couple practices and even some games, you know, I really learned a lot from him. Um, and, you know, playing with Nick Bear as well. Um, you know, he's a great kid, great teammate. And we went to rival high schools, um, go Monta Vista. Uh, but, you know, we were on the same club team, and we were always on a real good club team. And um, thankfully with, you know, my mother being from Scotland, I was able to have dual citizenship. Um, and with that, um, I could play between the countries if, you know, I choose to. So my senior year, I got an invite to the U20 uh, national Scotland national team development camp which is you know a huge step for anybody and you know it's crazy some of these guys you know have their own FIFA card and everything like that and just you know seeing some of these guys how good they are 
um, it was an incredible experience for, you know, two or three weeks. So I really draw on that to say, like, hey, I like to think I'm a good goalkeeper. So here I am for my senior year. From cut in high school to setting the saves record here at Cal Maritime two years straight, let's talk a little bit about this 2017-18 team here now in uh, a Cal Maritime 2018 team. It has grown quite a bit in numbers, and the quality seems to have increased with the quantity as well. You've seen a fairly dramatic transformation in this soccer program in your four years here. You th your thoughts on where this Keelhauler program is right now? So we're definitely a young developing team. I believe we only have about six upperclassmen total with about four, four or five being seniors and then Carson Alexander, our one junior. So it's a really underclassman heavy team. Um, but those guys are the building blocks in the team. And Coach George and I have established that, that you know, they're the building blocks of that team for the next three, four years. And they know that and they know that we have high expectations for them and we'll hold them accountable for that, which I think is a good thing. You know, these kids have come here. Usually they tend to be more mature than most kids around these age, knowing the school they come to. And we'll hold them to that. Um, I mean, it was rough the first, you know, two, three years being here. We had a coaching change, which um, didn't really help right before the season started. So it was hard to get any traction. But, you know, coming here, we're getting some, you know, real good local kids now, especially around the Davis Faculty area, um, which will really help. Um, so, we, you know, hoping to build off of that, you know, and leave a lasting mark. Um, that's all I can do now. Yeah, absolutely. And we're going to go to your fun fact sheet here. You may have noticed I've held this card here in my hand, ready to talk about some of your, your fun facts. I want to start with one I found interesting. Favorite movies, Forrest Gump and Saving Private Ryan. I see a Tom Hanks thing. Yeah. Uh, you know, good actor, but I mean, just quality movies overall. I mean, obviously a little different, you know, genres, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Tom Hanks is a good actor. <laughs> That's all you got to say right there. Uh, let's go to this one now. Favorite foods, Chipotle. What's your go-to item when you hit up Chipotle? Uh, probably a bowl. I mean, I'm pretty basic like that, but <laughs> I'm not really a very big burrito guy. I don't know. Just an East Bay thing, I guess, but you got to go with the bowl. It's true. That is an East Bay thing. That's very <laughs> true. Uh, and lastly, favorite team listed as the San Jose Sharks. Do they get over the hump this season? I hope they do. Joe Thornton's probably in his last year, and he's got two like two fake knees now. But um, you know, I I've always liked them since I was a kid. I've been a big hockey fan, probably because my dad liked you know hockey growing up on the East Coast. Um, he was always a big Rangers Isles fan, um, and obviously the Sharks are the only Bay Area team. But they've been competitive for years, so hopefully this is their year. But hey, Doe, thanks for your time. Thanks for joining us here in our first interview of 2018. Best of luck to you moving forward. Perfect. Thanks for having me, Tim. And thank you for tuning in.